Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to put together the mini block pumpkin. Um, this quilt block is so cute. It requires a lot of scraps, but that's what makes it so nice. Make sure if you are looking for the PDF for this that you're signed up through my fabric VIP and let's get started. Okay, let's get started. So what you need for this one is you're going to need 48 two inch blocks, just like these right here because what you're gonna do is mix and match all the craziness and sew together long rows. So I'm just gonna sew these together so you guys can see. And of course you're using um, a, an eighth seam foot, but you're gonna sew together long rows of these. You're gonna do six by eight. So let me show you my finished one because I think you guys will get the idea. So you want two inch blocks. And then the thing is you need to trim it down to 12 by nine and it's pretty close and tight and you might have a few that's off. That's okay. It's totally okay. You're showing this up. This is like, you know, Halloween slash Thanksgiving. Like I tried to make it really, really, um, orange mostly so that I could use it for both holidays. I could have it up for both holidays. Um, and I did simple pumpkins just to make it really easy. But the point is you're just going to sew together eight blocks at the bottom and six across. So I just did rows of eight and just mix and match them and sew them together. And then you're going to sew them into a line and then you're going to trim it down by nine and a half by 12 and a half. And that's going to put you in, in, in a place where you're down to the pumpkin block. Now, if you've been following this series with me, you've probably already made two pumpkins is my, my assumption. You've made a patchwork one that's all crazy and you've done a stripe one. So this is your uh, mini, um, what did I call it? Mini block uh, pumpkin. And the rest of it is built the same way. So at this point, if you've got this piece down, and by the way, I sent out a PDF every single Thursday with whatever I'm sewing that day. So if you wanna make sure and grab those, all you have to do is go to karinagardner.com and click on exclusive VIP and join my fabric VIP group because I just sent it to you guys for free. So um, you have your side blocks and you can see I've already drawn a, a diagonal line here, but you're gonna do this in all the corners. And what I was saying was, if you've done this with me already, you don't have to continue watching the video unless you really want to, because um, these are all built the exact same way. You're gonna draw a pencil line on that block. You can see I've already done it. And then you're just gonna sew directly on that pencil line. And then you're gonna trim off the excess. So usually a, an eighth of an inch is what you wanna get off that and then you're just gonna press it back like that, okay? And you're gonna do that to all four corners. So I'm gonna do that right now and then the pumpkin area is finished. Okay, so I finished the pumpkin part. I've got the little edges on. So we've got a perfect 12 and a half inch by nine and a half inch block. I'm gonna move that to the side and do the stem. Okay, if you've done this part, you can, you can skip or you can watch me do it. Um, give you the dimensions again in case you are not a fabric VIP, which by the way, you really should become because it's totally free. And I just send you the PDF with all the dimensions. You don't have to write it down from the videos, it just makes everything nice. So this piece right here is six by three and a half. The stem is uh, one and a half by three and a half. This is um, a piece below the leaf, and this is one and a half by two and a half. The leaf itself is two and a half by two and a half, and the two pieces that we're going to sew onto the leaf are white, and they're one and a quarter inch each. And then you have this last piece, which is four by three and a half. Okay, we're gonna start by putting together the leaf. We're gonna, you can draw a diagonal line if you want. I'm not going to because I, it's such a small area that's really easy to navigate. And the point of that pencil line is just to make sure that you really do keep a straight line, but this is such a small area, you don't really have to worry about it. So you're just gonna sew it on either side. And then you are gonna trim off a quarter, uh, not a quarter, an eighth of an inch on each side, just to clean that up. And then you're gonna press it. Now you can press it however you want. You can press it with 
the whites going in, you can press it with the whites going out, you can make them go the same way. Honestly, I don't think it really matters because with nested seams, you really do have to worry about, you know, trying to keep all the bulk nice. But with piecing like this, the bulk is everywhere. So there's really no right or wrong on this. Someone might tell you there's right or wrong, but the truth is there just isn't. It's just kind of whatever you prefer and how bulky you think your piece is gonna end up. Okay, after this, it's just assembly. So we're gonna, going to um, go ahead and sew these two pieces together so then we can just really quickly sew together our row. Go ahead and press those two pieces together. And then now we can start really assembling. So stem to the big white piece. And then your leaf piece to your stem piece. And hopefully you don't have all these little strings like I do. Finally, your last white piece. Press them all one way is what I suggest, but honestly, it really doesn't matter. If you want your stem pieces to all be pressed in, that's fine as well. And then you're just going to sew your pumpkin bottom piece to your top piece, and that'll finish it off. Um, like I said, I like to center this and then I like to trim off the edges when I'm done because I usually try to cut it to a 12 and a half inch block anyway. So um, I just like it centered. So my step is centered. And that is it. Go ahead and press it. And then I would trim this to a 12 and a half inch block so that it's ready to go for either you're probably putting together a quilt or a table runner. Next week I show you how to put together the table runner. I think you're really gonna like it. Super simple, simple borders, and it makes for a really, really pretty table runner. All right, see you guys.